All right, team, so welcome to week three of our virtual run. For those of you guys who have been following along, remember we're using a spreadsheet that uh, that Coach Armin sent out to you on the first day of the virtual race, and it goes through some of the suggestions that we have for you uh, on a daily basis. Remember, these are things that are meant to help guide you if you aren't familiar with maybe structuring your own running plan throughout the summer. Uh, if you are familiar, then you're more than welcome to just do what your uh, what you see fit for yourself. Uh, but these guides can kind of help you to maybe get a better sense of where we think you could be now so that when you come into the season, you're in, in really good shape. Uh, so this, for virtual race week three, this is kind of the suggestion that we have for the different groups one through five. And so this is from this Sunday, uh, uh, sorry, this Monday, June 29th uh, through July 5th. Um, and for those of you guys who are uh, clicking on this, you can uh, get to the link that way. Um, also, just a quick reminder <clears throat> that you have week three devils. Uh, so remember, you can earn points uh, this way or earn miles. Uh, 20 burpees, one minute of bicycle kick, kicks, uh, heel toes. Remember, and that's walking uh, heel to toe, as it sounds. Uh, the 10 hip circles. Remember, you want to go forward with your hip circle backward with your hip circle for each leg. Four dynamic stretches. All right, remember those dynamic just means you should be moving while you're doing them. And then static stretches, uh, those are obviously ones where you are stationary. Uh, so those are our devils. So for our different activities for this week, uh, for groups four and five, uh, you have, let me just highlight it here. Uh, so for Monday, you guys have four miles of long, slow distance. Uh, Tuesday, three miles of aerobic, four miles easy on Wednesday, and then you have an off day. So once again, move the off day as you see fit, but that's just when I scheduled it is on Thursdays usually. Uh, four miles aerobic on Friday, and then Saturday is a new type of workout that some of you got. I don't think anyone in this group has actually done yet, which is called a wave workout. And you alternate between an aerobic mile and a uh, fast pace or tempo mile. And in uh, groups four, five, and also in group two and three, you guys are only going to be doing two repeats of this. So you'll do an aerobic mile to start out to kind of get your blood flowing, and then you'll do a, a tempo mile after that. Uh, and then you have an off day on Sunday. So once again, structure the off days based on when you see it fitting into your schedule best, um, but you should try and shoot for two off days a week uh, or maybe get some cross training in there that's a little bit lower impact. And so that's gonna get you about 19 miles this week if you are following this plan exactly. For group two and three, you guys have five miles on Monday, three miles of aerobic on Tuesday, and your wave workout's actually gonna be on Wednesday of this week. And same sort of thing, two repeats of the one mile aerobic, one mile at tempo. Uh, so for four miles total. total. And uh, then you have four miles easy on Thursday, four miles aerobic pace on Friday. And your Saturday workout is a little bit different. It's gonna be four by 400 meters uh, at 5K pace, so be thinking, uh, back to what that 5k pace feels like from last year or whatever your two mile uh, time trial was. If you do that, you can calculate based on your two mile time what your 5k pace would be. Uh, virtually, you should, most of you guys should be running anywhere in the pace uh, in the range of uh, 75 seconds for maybe the group one and uh, one guys. Uh, all the way up to maybe 100 seconds to 110 seconds uh, for uh, the groups four and five. So once again, kind of depends on where your mileage is right now and what your pace is, um, but focus less on the pace and just try to run them pretty quick. So four by 400 meters and then two by 200 meters. And each one of those you should jog for about 200 meters after, uh, after that. So if you have a track near your house, uh, maybe go to that. Uh, I know one track that's open, at least near where I live, is the Maplewood track. I know there's a couple others out in St. Charles that are open. Uh, and I do not believe this the Chaminade track will be open. So don't necessarily count on doing it up at Chaminade. And that's about 24 miles for uh, groups two and three. <laughs> 
Lastly, group one, uh, you guys have seven miles of long slow distance on Monday. You guys have six miles of aerobic. Uh, the wave workout you guys have is on Wednesday. Uh, you guys are doing three circuits of the wave workout. So you'll do one mile of aerobic, one mile of tempo, three times. Uh, so six miles total. You don't need to do a warm up and cool down because technically the the aerobic distance that you do to start out is your warm up and the cool down, the tempo pace is not uh, going to be enough to really warrant needing to do a cool down. But feel free to add that in if you want. You have six miles easy after that on Thursday, just to recover your legs a little bit. On Friday, you have five miles of aerobic pace. And Saturday, you guys have uh, two miles of warm up, two by 800 meters uh, at your 10K pace, which, in other words, you should be moving pretty quickly on the 800 meters and then two by 400 meters uh, after that. So not super long distance, but I do want you to be kind of moving fast on those. It's not 800 meter pace for those of you guys who are familiar with that from track season, but it should be moving uh, pretty quick. And uh, you should jog about 400 meters in between each of those. Uh, don't walk too much in between these because we want your legs to be fresh for each one. Uh, and the jogging will actually help keep them fresh. Uh, and you should end up with about 36 miles that week if you take the Sunday as an off day. Um, so those are the three uh, group, the three sets of groups uh, workouts for the next week. And I just wanted to end on a little bit of motivation for those of you guys who are kind of getting to the point in the summer where either you've been uh, training for the last few weeks and you're kind of in the dog days of summer and you're getting a little bit uh, either bummed out or just not seeing... Uh, that you're getting the progress that you would like. Or this can also be for guys who haven't started yet. Maybe you've had good intentions and wanted to start, uh, or you've been doing a little bit here and there, but you haven't really kicked it into full gear. Um, so this is a quote that I've gone back to a lot of times in my training, and it's one that helps me to stay motivated. So there is one elementary truth, the ignorance of which kills countless ideas and splendid plans. But the moment one definitely commits oneself to that providence moves to, Whatever you can do or dream you can do, begin it. Be gold, boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Begin it now. Guys, I want to see a really good week from you. Make sure you're submitting your stuff to Coach Armin and so that we can kind of follow along with your training and uh, just see kind of what progress you have. Good luck this week. Remember to be careful with the heat. Stay hydrated. Really make sure throughout the day that you're uh, trying to drink as much water as you can. Uh, it takes a lot of effort in the summer, especially if you're out there running uh, three, four, six miles out in the heat. Your body will take several hours to get rehydrated. So really work hard at that, guys, but excited for camp in a few weeks and talk to you soon.